Among the many things that the Indian hotels is known for, the rich culinary heritage is one of them, an amalgamation of global flavors and innovative dining experiences. In conversation with me today is Mr. Puneet Chatwal, who's the Managing Director and CEO at the Indian Hotels, right here in Goa at Paper Moon, one of the recently launched restaurants. Thank you so much for having me here. To begin with, let's talk about that rich culinary journey and innovative dining experiences. Can you just tell us a little bit more about what the journey has been like? Well, as you know, um, our journey is of 120 years and uh, from uh, the Taj Mahal Palace uh, Tower in Mumbai, the very famous Sea Lounge, uh, to bringing in the, the Sheshuan Chinese with the Golden Dragon yes. and later with the House of Ming, uh, to the first uh, continental restaurant of class, the Zodiac Grill, uh, to our latest additions, right, like you mentioned, the Paper Moon, uh, complementing the very famous Trattoria yes. in Mumbai and the Thai Pavilion and the Southern Spice and you know the list can go on uh, it's 400 plus restaurants in our portfolio uh, which are well known and some of them are now beginning to travel across the national frontier and that is something that makes us proud bringing some concepts from outside into India taking very authentic Indian concepts and showcasing them to the rest of the world. And speaking of showcasing them to the rest of the world, that concept of the travel restaurants as well and bars, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Because I understand that uh, they've opened up from the Bombay Brasserie that you have in London to a number of them uh, across the globe and in India. Well, that's an interesting one. So the word somehow, Bombay, Mm. works very well globally yes. and so Bombay Brasserie which started in London is today in Dubai is also in Cape Town and very soon it will be in San Francisco so it would be covering you know uh, several continents yes. and uh, it's something which has worked very well for us then when we look at Quillon it's uh, you know more than a decade like almost 12 continuous years of uh, having a michelin star restaurant the campton place in san francisco was possibly uh, till very recently the only restaurant uh, serving uh, pan indian cuisine with a two star michelin rating so this is uh, some of these things which have been brought uh, to the world by the house of taj Hmm. and uh, Taj is very well known for it. Okay, and let's enjoy while we're here in the moment some lovely food at Paper Moon as well. Thank you. Now, if we could get to the financials as well and understand a little bit more about the restaurant revenues and how much they contribute, F&B and of course the bars have a, a, quite a significant contribution and help bolster the overall EBITDA margins as well. Can you walk us through that? We are very blessed in Asia in general, and India in particular, that food and beverage is almost in the luxury end on mm -hmm. a one is to one basis with uh, the rooms revenue. And uh, even for us, almost 45% of our total revenue pre-COVID and now post-COVID uh, is coming from food and beverage operations. A significant part of this revenue is related to weddings and the yes. mice uh, business, that's meetings, yes. incentives, conferences, etc. And uh, weddings is crisis resistant. Mm. So weddings is something very personal, very important in our culture. And uh, so as a part of hospitality sector, we are very blessed to have this segment. Besides this, dining out in hotels is also very common. and. Uh, that's where our food and beverage offerings come in. And given the kind of contribution that FNB has to the overall revenue pie of Indian hotels, can you walk us through how much that is at the moment and what the margin uh, is that you enjoy? So as I said, 45% would be uh, the, the component of the total consolidated revenue that we report. Uh, but having said that, uh, what is very good in... Uh, um, in Indian subcontinent is that you also get at least 40% EBITDA margin on this business. So this is a very important part. You know, in the Western Hemisphere, 
making money in hotel restaurants is very difficult yes. and very challenging. But making money in Asia and in on the Indian subcontinent on food and beverage is quite normal. It it is not uh, as difficult as it is on the Western Hemisphere. And you know, a lot of experts as well and analysts are of the view that you know, using the operational leverage of the new businesses uh, of F and B. Uh, that can really take up and scale up the overall margins of the company in the next many years. Would you concur? Yeah, I think scaling up, not just in food and beverage, but in all parts of hotels, whether yes. it's our spas or it's the number of rooms or it's the food and beverage options, uh, various kinds of cuisines, offerings, staying in tune with times, I think that is very critical. Yes. And uh, we are very well positioned to take advantage of that. And we have a lot of very good concepts in Chinese, in Thai, in Italian, in all day dining, which are scalable. Mm -hmm. And we did not do that before, but we started doing it. So there is a Shamiana outside of Mumbai in, uh, in, in, in Dubai. There is a Machan now outside of Delhi in, at the West End in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a few of the Thai pavilion as a Thai restaurant, instead of trying to find a new name right. on each occasion, why not just you know, take a, a, a brand, take a concept which is very successful and just scale it up. And I think we, we've commenced well on that journey. Yes, and this uh, food as well looks wonderful. There's been Paper Moon, there's been Seven Rivers, House of Nomad. Tell us a little bit more about the new launches and the partnerships in f &D. So it's an interesting question. I think we did not do this uh, before in our journey. Uh, we have taken on two brands that we don't own, but have taken on the responsibility or the obligation to scale them up. Seven Rivers is a brand of AB Imbef which is the largest brewing company yes. in the world. So we have partnered with AB Imbev because they understand the brewing business. We are not in that business. Right. But we can sell uh, the micro breweries or the beer garden mm. uh, quite well. So that's one. Paper Moon is a family owned concept for almost 50 years now coming from Milano. And uh, uh, it's a very nice, uh, you know, mid scale, uh, dining concept is not ultra luxury or something is for everyone and I'm uh, uh, Very pleased to see paper moon coming to India. We have the exclusive rights uh, And we are uh, going to do five of these in the next three years okay. uh, In different cities and seven rivers is the second one mm -hmm. after uh, runaway success at the Taj MG Road in Bangalore now it will be in North Goa uh, so these are the two which are not owned by us. Okay. When it comes to the others which we own, uh, we are scaling them up too, and uh, we're very excited to do so. Uh, House of Ming is off to a great start in Bhopal. I uh, would have thought, thought. Taj, yeah. Lakefront, Bhopal <laughs> will have a House of Ming and that it would work well. And uh, similarly, work our iconic, uh, authentic Indian food restaurant from the Taj Mahal Hotel Delhi or popularly known as the Taj Man Singh is also in the Taj Exotica in Dubai. Uh, very successful there uh, in the last six months and very popular. All in all, FNB has been an area of focus, remains an area of focus yes. and is one of the ways to drive innovation, change and keep the people connected with you is not always just the room. Okay, so a wonderful portfolio of uh, 400 uh, restaurants and bars. What's the long-term game plan or vision when it comes to F&B for Indian hotels? Uh, staying ahead of the game, yeah. uh, maintaining our leadership position, being the innovator, being the enabler, getting new concepts uh, into India and uh, staying true to our core of being the custodian of Indian hospitality as the oldest operating company and the most iconic company of South Asia. Well, cheers to that and I'll eat to that as well. So thank you so much, Mr. Chadwal, for giving us those details. Thank you. Thank you for having me.